Uh, can I ask a favor? Can I get those back lights just dimmed a little bit? I've been working in the dark most of my career, and I don't plan on changing that right now. Thank you. And Commissioner, I don't care if you're a wimp either, just so you know that. Um, I don't, I'm not going to stand here and, and tell you, I mean, we're in a room full of esteemed police leaders here, and tell you how to uh, communicate to your people. Uh, what I intend to do is just tell you a few observations that I have and, and talk about a, a project that we did in Thunder Bay and how we actually uh, got the message to the front line and how we were able to uh, drive that project through our organization because it was over a period of five years and, and the successes that we had. Um, we live in a society where instant gratification from instant communications has become the norm. Emails, text messaging, Twitter, Facebook, Blackberries, and so on have created an environment where face-to-face -face oral communications are not the first choice method by which we share and pass on information. We now hire, hire employees who grew up with a keyboard and computer screen as a routine part of their daily life. They come to our profession with skill sets that not long ago we would, would send employees to training classes at our expense to acquire those same skills. As well, because our employees spend a lot of time on computers, electronic visual stimulation has become primary to their learning environment. There is hardly an employee of a Canadian police service that doesn't have a cell phone or text messaging capability. A good percentage have some sort of device that allows them internet access and ability to use a vast variety of downloaded applications. All you have to do is go to your lunchroom, your briefing room, or for that matter, your parking lot to see the proliferation of mobile data devices amongst your personnel. I'm not just talking about new employees, for the mass, vast majority of our officers have embraced moder the modern age of technology. In my view, one of the outcomes of modern age of instant communications is that the attention span of employees who have engaged in modern technology later in life has been dramatically reduced and is somewhat less for people vis-a-vis -vis new employees who grew up in an environment of instant communication. Add to the equation the numbness that the vast majority of society in the developed world now exhibit because of 24-7 instant coverage of world events, events that in the past would have shocked us but instead have become part of our daily routine. This is the new environment that has presented a number of challenges for police services and police administration in the past several years in ensuring that the messages and directions you want to get to the front lines of your organization are received, understood, practiced, and become part of your service delivery philosophy. For example, my service has invested heavily in production equipment, including commercial-grade video cameras, editing boards, software, and, actual, and an actual employee with production experience, all for the pur purpose of producing commercial-quality video productions that are beyond training video.